six classic games have been inducted into the Video Game Hall of Fame in New York. The Strong National Museum of Play announced this year's inductees. They include Oregon Trail, Space Invaders, Grand Theft Auto 3, The Legend of Zelda, The Sims, and my personal favorite, Sonic the Hedgehog. These games beat out nine other finalists for a spot in the hall, and if your favorite didn't make it this year, the museum is already taking nominations for next year. Big news in the world of gaming. Looks like Microsoft is ready to play nice with Sony. The technology company, which operates Xbox Live, has announced that it has opened its network. This now allows Xbox owners the capability of playing online games with PlayStation owners. So far, Sony hasn't commented on this proposal. The new feature also allows Xbox Live users to play with PC games. Gamers. Microsoft says that Rocket League will be the first game to take advantage of this capability. I've talked a lot about Star Wars The Force Awakens and we all know how the film has made billions of dollars. And now fans are excited about a different Star Wars franchise. The video game Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens will be released on June 28th. The game is expected to have all of the big characters and locales from the film. Over the last decade, the LEGO Star Wars games have sold more than 33 million copies. Wow. For the first time ever, female players will appear in the FIFA soccer video game. 45,000 people signed a Change.org petition to add women to the game. Electronic Arts announced that the newest game in the franchise, FIFA 16, will include 12 women's national teams, including the US, France, and Mexico. The newest game in the globally popular franchise is expected to be released on September 22nd. On tonight's CW Hot List, thousands of comic book fans from all across the world flooded the San Diego Convention Center for Comic-Con 2015. The first day of the world's biggest pop culture event hosted over 130,000 comic book and science fiction fans, many of them dressing up as their favorite character. Attendees will get sneak peeks at upcoming films and TV shows and might even get to meet their favorite stars, including the cast of The Hunger Games. Comic-Con International continues today and ends this Sunday. Not only did Star Wars annihilate the competition in the box office again, but The Force Awakens has also broken another record that will solidify the film as legendary. While LA was celebrating the best on the small screen, a much anticipated sequel on the big screen wins at the box office. Jurassic World took the movie industry by storm by having the largest opening weekend in movie history and becoming the third best selling movie ever, only trailing Avatar and Titanic. And if you couldn't get enough of dinosaurs, well, there's more to come. The blockbuster flick will be returning with a sequel. Stars of the film such as Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard will be returning, and Steven Spielberg will once again be the executive producer. We will have to wait a while before we see it because release is expected by 2018. With entertainment news from all around, I'm Tyler Brown, and that was your CW Hot List.